It's time I stepped out from behind the desk to give you the grand tour. Today, I'm showing you my productive desk setup. I'm gonna walk you through everything I use and more importantly, what I don't use so that I can get into the zone, get more productive and get work done. Everything from the desk to the technology to the note taking, let's get into all of it. We should start with the desk, right? This is the FlexiSpot E7 standing desk. I've had it for over a year now since we moved in. You see it a lot in the videos. It comes in very handy, not just for work, but for shooting. It's usually in the standing position for me because I know that I'm more likely to stay focused and get things done more quickly if I'm standing and I'm spending a little bit more energy than if I were sitting and easily distracted. It's electronic, you plug it in, the keypad helps you to find the right heights for you. Honestly, I wish I had two, because sometimes I wish there was like a separate one for actual work than there is for shooting, because clearly it needs to look pristine when you guys see it. But for the most part, I try to keep it very clean. Welcome to underneath the desk. This is my walking pad. Rather than investing in a chair, I just decided I wanted to spend my money on something that encouraged me to move. So if I have to be at this desk working on focus work for extended periods of time, I wanted to be able to walk, especially at a standing desk. I have some random old dining room chair that I use whenever we shoot. That's just because I need to make sure I stay in focus and I tend to move around a lot. So I make myself sit when I'm shooting for you. But other than that, I'm usually standing at this desk or walking. May I introduce you to my technology hub, my laptop computer and my companion display. Let's start with the laptop. I'm not one of those people that feels very confident working from the phone. There's always some hang up that I have. I just feel like I'm gonna do a better job and be more efficient and know that something got done properly if I have my laptop with me. It's probably the nature of the business that I'm in, but I can take my laptop with me everywhere and so I do. I've been an Apple fan girl for a really long time. This is the Apple MacBook Pro in the M1 chip. I can do everything from some basic admin to the big creative work that I do, like video editing. Because I do a lot of creative work, I wanna feel the confidence of a full setup without the commitment of a desktop hub. Just like I can pack up my MacBook and take it anywhere, whether I'm going upstairs to the dining room or leaving the house entirely, traveling, I can pack up my companion display. This is the Espresso 17 Pro, my companion display. And Espresso Displays is also generously sponsoring this segment of the video. Whether I want my Notion organization pulled up or I wanna make some notes in my Good Morning Good Life 12 month digital planner, the Espresso display makes me feel like I can focus without feeling restricted by just the screen of my laptop. All I need to do to expand my workspace is take the display and put it on its magnetic stand and plug it into my device with the USB-C cable. It's literally that simple. Plug and play and enjoy an intuitive touchscreen experience on whatever device software you're running. That's the nice thing about Espresso displays and the products that they create. They're not just a hardware company like you would find on a lot of these searches online for extending your experience. They're hardware and software, which is what makes it work so seamlessly. So to give you an example, when I'm editing a video, I like to be able to look at the notes that I made about that video in the process of creating it while I'm doing the edits, just to make sure that I don't miss anything and I cover all my bases. So being able to have those notes pulled up and using my companion display to edit at the same time makes it so much more easy for me to focus on everything I need to see. And of course, I love using the display to have my Good Morning Good Life 12 month digital planner pulled up using their Jot technology and the Espresso pen to make the notes that I like to as if I were writing in my planner on paper. Not only is the Espresso built for a productive desk setup like this one or one on the go, it's crafted with durable aerospace aluminum, which makes it feel like a really high quality product and very nice to set up everywhere you go. The quality is top notch with a 4K screen illuminated with bright and vibrant colors. And I love it for when I need a change of scenery because it's so easy for me to go from here to the dining room, to a coffee shop, to get on a plane to leave the country if I need to go to a speaking engagement. Have everything packed up and seamlessly get that full setup. Check out the link in the description down below for details about the Espresso 17 Pro. And because you're my friend, if you use the code Amy10 at checkout on anything in Espresso Displays, you'll get 10% off. And I'm gonna sweeten the deal. Anyone who uses my code at Espresso Displays and follows the instructions down below on how to get in touch with me, will be able to redeem a complimentary gift of the 12 month Good Morning Good Life digital planner so that you can fully take advantage of this intuitive touchscreen design while you get things done. Okay, I've been wanting to tell you about this device 
for a while now. I was so excited when I stumbled upon this on Instagram. And ever since I made the purchase, I have more than made my money's worth on it. This thing has helped me make so many of the most popular videos that I've uploaded in the last six months here on this channel. This is the canvas desk lamp. Not only does it have a light on it, which makes it a lamp, you can actually secure your smartphone to the top of it and record anything you have going on underneath very easily. You could take pictures, video, whatever, but it is so easy to set up. I have absolutely been obsessed with it. Could I use a better overhead camera and fancier tripod to do the work on this channel that I need to do? Absolutely. Do I want to? No, not even a little bit. This is so easy that I just can't, I can't stop. I can't stop. It's fabulous. It actually comes with a base, but because of the nature of what I'm using it for most of the time, I use the desk clamp that it comes with but you could switch it up and you can also change the different colors of the lights. It has been a wonderful addition to this desk for the purposes of showing you what I wanna show you all the time. All right, let's raise this baby up a little bit. Next, I wanna show you my external hard drive. This is the SanDisk Professional 18 terabyte G drive because OMG, I have all the files. This is where all the videos go when they are completed and out into the world because I need to free up the space on all of my devices to move on to the next one. This is actually the first time I've ever purchased 18 terabytes. <laughs> Usually I'm like, I don't need that much. It is amazing how quickly you can go through a terabyte of storage when you are filming 4K footage. So I'm hoping this will last me a year's worth of content backup, uh, but still yet to be seen. This little guy I found on Amazon. This is the Zenber Screen Cleaning Kit. They actually come in a two set. You just slide this piece out, you spritz your device for your phone, your laptop, your desktop, whatever, your, your companion device, whatever you need it for. And then the sides of this here, which is why you keep it in the plastic container, are the microfiber that you can use to actually wipe the screen with. So I have one in my purse and one that sits on the desk. All right, onto some analog note-taking accessories. Let's start with the most requested thing of all time. Where did Amy get her pink notebook? You guys have seen this so many times on this channel. I've got good news and I've got bad news. It is everything you dreamed of and more it might be hard to find. This is from the Martha Stewart line at Staples. My recommendation to you is what I've had a few viewers who DM'd me about it have had success with, which is to not look for it online because it's very unlikely you're gonna find it. I did find a smaller version in a different color. I will try to link to it if it's still there, but you're probably going to have better luck going into the store. So go into the Martha Stewart aisle and find the notebook. But it really is wonderful. It is refillable. And um, because of these gold discs of wonder, you can just take the pages out and put them right back in. It's been great for doing demos on this channel. And I think if I were somebody who are a little bit too much of a perfectionist and were taking notes in a notebook, I would really, really enjoy it, which is why I bought it because I am that person. So that's where you can find it if you can find it. And I hope you can because they need to continue to roll these out. This is a very good design for a notebook. Always on my desk, literally to the point where this case, which I've evolved to, it was previously just a binder clip. Now I found a nicer case, which has been great. Another Staples thing. It goes from my bedroom to my dining room table to this desk. I have a separate one for my handbag, but I keep my note cards in this compartmentalizer and I love it. And you guys know the go-to for me lately. Three by five cards. They are life. They are making me combat the perfectionism that is always holding me back. And so I have note cards on my desk no matter what I'm doing at all times. My favorite pen, when I am writing, I like the Sharpie S gels. And I also like that they come in white because they are a bit more aesthetic. There's another set of pens I was using in videos and I do like them. They're very pretty, but they were more pretty on camera than they are my go-to. But these are the things I'm refilling on all the time. And while I was absolutely a Sharpie lover when it came to highlighting, they weren't always perfect. And I would find that I'd have to wait a beat before I could highlight something, otherwise it would smear, which is why I think I've moved on. This is the Bic Brightliner Grip. I've got them in pastel colors because 
it's that time of year, so I love it. And I can highlight that pen immediately without issue. You'll actually be able to witness this in a coming video on the channel, so stay tuned for that. But these have been my go-to highlighters. I like these because sometimes you want something to be a bit more punchy when you're writing it down and where you can't highlight and bold it if you wrote it yourself, you can highlight it with a highlighter. And those are the fabulous accessories that are keeping me productive and focused at my workspace.